Hello grade 8 students! Welcome back to my YouTube channel, Angelita Panuncio. In this video, you will learn how to factors quadratic trinomial in the form x squared plus bx plus c where a is equal to 1. So there are two steps in factoring quadratic trinomials. So the first step is find the two factors of c whose sum equals the coefficient of b. Second step, using the form x plus blank, quantity of x plus blank, fill this in with the two factors found in step 1. So, example number 1 time. In our example number 1, we have x squared plus 5x plus 4. So, ang gagawin lang natin, Kukunin lang natin yung factors ng C natin. Ano mga factors ng C natin? So, we have factors of C. 4 multiplied by 1. Ano pa? 2 multiplied by 2. Meron pa bang factor? 1 multiplied by 4. Same lang din naman dun sa so kahit hindi na natin nangyay yan. Okay? So, yun yung mga factors ng ating C. Or ng ating constant. Next, Kunin natin yung sum ng ating factors. Dapat, same siya doon sa numerical coefficient ng ating b. So, 4 plus 1, we have 5. 2 plus 2, we have 4. So, saan dyan yung kukunin natin? This one. Bakit? Kasi 5 is equal to 5. Yung sum dapat nila is equal to the numerical coefficient of our b. Ayun ah, yung unang step natin. Next, second step, gawa tayo na ganda. So, variable x yan, therefore variable x din ang gagamitin natin. So, x plus blank, and then the other one is x plus blank. Ano ilalagay natin sa blank? Okay, yung factors ng 4 natin na ang sum ay equal to 5. So, ang factors na is 4, and then 1. So, therefore, ito na yung magiging factors ng ating given equation. Gets? Okay, problem number 2 tayo. So, we have y squared plus 6y plus 8. Unang step, kunin yung factors ng ating c. Ng ating constant. So, we have factors of 8. Ano yung factors ng 8 natin? We have 8 times 1. Or... 1 times 8. Pwede rin yan. Next, we have 4 times 2. Yan. Factors ng 8. Next, pwede ba ang 3? No. 4. Yes. So, magiging 2 times 4 na rin siya. So, same lang din yan doon. Okay? So, next natin, hanapin yung factors na ang sum ay equal to B. So, 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So, saan dyan yung gagamitin natin factors? This one. Bakit? 6 is equal to 6. Dapat yung sum ng ating factors ay equal to numerical coefficient ng ating B. Okay? So, gawa tayo ng ganito ulit. Since variable y ang gamit, variable y din ang gagamitin natin. So, we have y plus blank, and the other one is y plus blank. Ayan. Anong number? We have 4 and 2. Therefore, lagay lang natin 4 and 2. Or, pwede rin naman na magkabaliktad. Nauna dito yung 2. Ayan. 2, then 4. Same lang din po yan. Correct answer pa rin. Gets? So, the factor of this given problem is the quantity of y plus 2 multiplied to y plus 4. Okay? So, proceed tayo sa problem number 3. Okay, problem number 3. In problem number 3, we have a squared plus 10a plus 16. So, unang step, kunin ang factor ng ating constant. So, we have 16 
Anong mga factor nito? We have 1 multiplied by 16. Sino pa? Pwede ng 2? Yes, 2 multiplied by 8. Pwede ba siya ng 3? Hindi. Pwede ba siya by 4? Yes. So, we have 4 times 4. Ano bang factors? Yan. Pwede ng 5? Hindi. So, additional lang, kapag 4, bumalik na siya ng 4. Yan. Yun na po ang lahat ng factors. Kabalik tara niyo na lang. So, magiging 8 times 2, then 16 times 1. Yun yung magiging factor niya. So, kunin natin yung sum. Yan. Sum nila, 1 plus 16, we have 17. Next, 2 plus 8, we have 10. 4 plus 4, we have 8. So, saan din yung factors na kukunin natin? Dapat equal sa V is 1, 2, and 8. Okay, next, gawa tayo ng... A plus blank. And then the other one is A plus blank. Ano yung number natin? We have 2 and 8. So, 2, then 8. Ilan. Therefore, magiging factors ng ating given problem is A plus 2 multiply 2, A plus 8. Okay? Sundan na? Next tayo, problem number 4. In problem number 4, ayan. O, kung napansin nyo, negative yung ating constant. Therefore, isang positive, isang negative. Ah, kapag positive naman ang ating constant, ayan. It's either dalawang positive or dalawang negative. Depende rin sa ating middle term. Since, ang middle term natin ay positive, therefore, dalawang positive to. Okay? Kung negative yun, therefore, dalawang negative din dapat. Okay? So, try natin itong number 4. The problem number 4, we have negative 12. Anong factor ng negative 12? Factor ng negative 12, we have negative 1 times 12. Isang positive, isang negative. Negative 1 times 12, we have negative 12. Next, negative 2 multiplied by 6. Negative 2 multiplied by 6, we have negative 12. Next, pwede siya ng 3? Yes. So, negative 3 multiply by 4. Okay? Next tayo. Negative 4 multiply by 3. Same ba itong dalawang ito? No. Kasi yung positive dun kanina is yung 4. Ito naman, yung 3. So, magkaiba yan. Next tayo. We have negative 6 and 2. And the last one, we have negative 12 and 1. Okay, so next, kunin natin yung sum nila. Dapat equal sa 4. So, negative 1 plus 12, we have 11. Next, negative 2 plus 6, we have 4. So, ito na yung ating pansin, same na sila sa ating B. So, 4 and 4, same na. Therefore, ang magiging factors ay negative 2 and 6. Okay, so, it is equal now to, ang ating variable ay B, therefore, B rin ang gagamitin natin. B, negative yun, so therefore, negative 2. And the other one is B, positive yun, therefore, positive 6. Ayan. Ito na yung ating magiging factors. Sundan? Madali lang, di ba? <laughs> Okay, so the factors of this given problem is B less 2 multiplied to B plus 6. Yes? Okay, problem number 5 tayo. Okay, problem number 5. In problem number 5, we have M squared less 2M less 24. So, kung mapapansin nyo, negative na naman yung sign ng ating constant. So, isang positive ulit and then isang negative. Okay? So, negative 24. Ano ba ang factors ng ating negative 24? So, 1, negative 1, multiply by 24. The other
other one, pwede siya sa 2. So, negative 2 multiplied by 12. Okay, kunin na rin natin yung sum niya. Negative 1 plus 24, we have positive 23. Sum nito, negative 2 plus 12, we have positive 10. Next, divisible ba siya by 3? Yes, so factors niya ang 3. Next is, Negative 3 multiplied by 8. Yan. Ano ang sum niya kapag ganyan? Negative 3 plus 8, we have positive 5. Next. Yan. Pwede ba siya by 4? Yes. So, we have negative 4 times 6. 4 times 6. 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. So, ano ang sum niya? We have positive 2. Negative yun. Ito naman positive. Same na ba sila? No. Okay. Ano pa ang factors niya? We have negative 6 times 4. So, anong magiging sum nila? Negative 6 plus 4. We have negative 2. Same na ba? Yes. So, therefore, ang magiging factors natin ay negative 6 and 4. Okay. Okay. Gawa tayo ng form na ganda. Step 2 tayo. M ang ating variable, therefore, M din ang gagamitin natin. M minus 6 multiply to M positive yun plus 4. So, yun ay magiging factors natin. Gets? Okay. Problem number 6 tayo. In problem number 6, we have n squared less 2n less 48. So, negative na naman. Therefore, isang positive, isang negative. Yan. Ulitin ko, pag positive yan, it's either dalawang positive or dalawang negative lang. Okay? So, dito ah, negative 48. Anong factors ng negative 48? We have negative 1 times 48. Ano ang sum kapag ganyan? Negative 1 plus 48, we have 47. Next, divisible by 2. So, factors niya ang 2. Times 24. Negative 2 plus 24, we have positive 22. Next, divisible ba siya by 3? Yes. So, negative 3 times 16. Okay? So, negative 3 Plus 16, we have 13. Next, divisible ba siya by 5? No. 6. Yes. So, we have negative 6 times 8. Yan. 8, 16, 24, 2, 40, 48. Tama. So, negative 6 and 8. Factor niya. Ano ang sum? We have... Positive 2. Negative 2 yun. Positive 2. They are not equal. Okay? So, next natin. We have negative 8 and then times 6. So, we have negative 8 plus 6. We have negative 2. Same na ba? Yes, same na sila. Therefore, ito ang magiging factor natin. Negative 8 and 6. Okay, so form tayo ng fun. Variable natin, n. n. So, n less 8 multiply to n plus 6. Kasi positive yan. Therefore, the factor of this given problem is n minus 8 multiply to n plus 6. Okay? So, nasundan. So, that's all for the quadratic trinomial. I, I hope na meron na naman kayong natutunan sa video ito na inyong pinanood. Don't forget to like our video, subscribe to my YouTube channel, share to your classmates, and then if you have clarification, ask your teacher. See you next time!